Juniors meet seniors, your predecessors through this uh, course sequence, who didn't have the privilege of a large rotating tank, which we only procured this past summer. Nice. Thanks to Dr. Olmeyer for supporting that. He's not even paying attention. <laughs> but for real, a huge thanks to Dr. Olmeyer for sponsoring the setup of this system, the start of the OU School of Meteorology Skin Lab. Yeah, there we go. To grow from here, right? All right. Juniors haven't gone through waves and oscillations yet. Seniors. You knew you'd be put on the spot today. What sort of <laughs> oscillations might we be looking at? All the bouncing around on the screen. It's actually pretty good, but I see a little bit of yeah, orbiting motion. <laughs> dig back, dig back. Are we getting gravity waves when you drop the little things in it? There could certainly be gravity waves, surface waves bouncing around off the walls. But what might the, let's say, quasi-stationary little orbits be? I'll throw a hint. Low-level jet dynamics. <laughs> I believe I showed an example of it from buoy motion, but it's also one of the key mechanisms behind development of the low-level jet every day. Hmm. They're making me look bad. <laughs> That's why they're doing this. They know it. Another giant hint, the rotation of the tank has a major part to play in it. It's one of the one of the arguments for how the low-level jet works, the nocturnal planes low-level jet. It's not a temperature oscillation, but just the vector that. does this. Uh, oh, actually, it's spirally. Is that spirally? Getting closer. Yeah, friction <laughs> plays a role. Decoupling at night. <laughs> Even in the absence of friction, you have this vector spiraling around. Vorticity. <laughs> Cameron's dying. <laughs> they came in, uh, have we talked about it in radiation too? Is that a thing? <laughs> <laughs> Doubtful. Nope. But you talked about it in 2004. I'm sure. 2000. I know you slept many times. <laughs> I was only one. <laughs> it was one of the less exciting oscillations, I'll admit. Okay, that's how it <laughs> Gravity waves are moving. There's another flavor of gravity waves called blank gravity waves. Inertia gravity waves. Inertial oscillation. Inertial oscillation. Uh, sloshing of the water due to the centrifugal force, in addition to Coriolis deflection. If you see little orbits, they're not in the picture. Little orbital motion as viewed from the rotating reference frame, that inertial sloshing, inertial oscillation. All right, long-winded way to get to the point that looks like we're pretty damn well in solid body rotation. Yeah? Everyone agree? Mm -hmm. Say so. Okay. All right, juniors don't help. 
Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> Core constraint, key constraint for being able to say we're probably in thermal wind down. Boil it down to one thing. Because I know my juniors know. We've been drilling this. Well, thermal wind balance, regardless of if there are temperature gradients or not, assumption, key assumption about the scales of the flow to tell us whether or not we could assume we're under thermal wind balance. It's clearly these are synoptic statements. On the I contrary, mean, my friend. I would say we were very much on synoptic to large scales in this tank. How did we, all right, juniors help us out. How did we determine that we're in large scale flow regime for a rotating tank? Just hydrostatic balance. Hydrostatic balance is a big one, got the vertical structure. We have a low Rossby number. the other big one. A low Rossby number. Low Rossby number regime. Boom. Thank you, juniors. <laughs> <laughs> low Rossby number regime. We are in fact in a very low Rossby number regime. In other words, we have a perfectly good analog of large scale dynamics in this tank. So, what are we trying to prove here? Do we have temperature gradients? Well, I mean, we could. Well, extremely <laughs> minimal, right? Extremely minimal, let's say negligible temperature gradients. Low Rossby number flow regime. What else can we conclude about the flow? All together now. No vertical shear. No vertical shear. No vertical wind shear if we have no temperature gradients horizontally, right? If we have horizontal temperature gradients, geostrophic balance, there has to be a shear. Yep. All right. I'm gonna drop some, let's see. We've got potassium permanganate, which gives us a really good surface picture of what's going on. We're gonna do some cool leak locator dye, which tends to float on the surface. Super convenient. I'm gonna not hit the camera holder here. All right. And we're gonna try to prove for ourselves, it'd be really good to have a side view of the tank too. So you'll have to sort of what you can assume is that that yellow dye is largely on the top of the fluid, far away from the puck, yeah? So you remember, as we talked about on Wednesday, we're trying to demonstrate that that puck, by virtue of the fact that there's no vertical shear, that puck is felt through the entire column. Now, should we try to prove that without violating the assumption of low Rossby number? which means a very small perturbation, so that now suddenly the water is feeling the puck, moving faster than the puck. Purple's on the bottom, so it's directly being obstructed. I see a lot of sloshing going on. What's happening? Talk to me, Goose. What's happening to the yellow? It's sinking. It's descending in the vertical. Also, looks like Rupert slowed it down, probably too dramatically already. <laughs> it's moving around. It's doing the thingy that also includes my name. It's doing Taylor Proudman columns. Yeah? See the yellow dye being deflected around it horizontally? Looks like we'll have a good deck of blue sitting at the surface, too. So let's see if we can get that. <laughs> Looks like it's shedding vortex. Yeah, so I done slowed it down a little too much already. <laughs> but I think we can still get this. I think we're still seeing this impact. Yellow is sort of diffusing across the puck. Small perturbation. Oh, 
Can really see these inertial oscillations over the top of the puck, yeah? Slashing up the die patch. What's happening to the blue? Someone here tell me, is the blue at the top of the bot wall a bit of both, huh? <laughs> We've got a lot of blue sort of flattened out across the top of the fluid. Highlighter fluid throughout. A lot of the blue sank. The top appears to be avoiding the There's an obstruction there, right? Even though the puck is not physically there, up near the top of the fluid, it feels obstructed, yeah? Yeah. The dye has kind of slowly, the highlighter fluid is definitely diffused over the top. But it looks to me like the blue is making its way around it. Come check it out, take a closer look, see if you can convince yourself. Try to not be distracted by the beautiful vertical convection that's now well developed. Oh, oh, that's what's going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's all of these. It actually hit around the top. It's like little, yeah. Dude, it's crazy that as soon as I said it was going to look natively tilted, you started actually seeing it. Oh, right. I think that's all I can see when I look at it. I'll get out of my favorite picture of the phone is the picture of Jake Hooper. Yeah, there's like a thin layer of no anything Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of hard to see each other because there's a bunch of dye everywhere, but. You can see it though. Don't mind me. Those are beautiful. So, so, how those are beautiful. And you can see it too. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, like I wonder what would like a pyramid. Yeah, like a football in there. I think it's every major sports. The three major sports of the North. Basketball, football, hockey, everything in there. MLS. MLS. Do not forget MLS. Oh, don't forget a softball, so that way we can have a larger scale of a baseball. Yeah, what do we need? It needs to be a slightly heated air though. That's pretty I think cool. It's a big yeah, it's yeah, actually yeah. producing some temperature. We can only put the city up on the side and have that heated yeah. 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 yeah, Put a mountain in it. That is crazy. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Would there be like any way to eliminate the yeah, so part of it is perfect tank leveling, but it's also the manufacturing of the tank. Yeah, so like if the uh, the little anchors that okay. center the stand are okay. not in the center, so yeah. So what happens if we speed it up? If we speed it up, we if we speed it up, it sounds like something we should probably try. Let's try it. Chaos. I say chaos. <laughs> So we can repeat the experiment, yeah? Alright, I put more yellow in there as well as all over my hands. <laughs> We're going to speed it up. It's going down like this. Oh, yeah. All I see that. It's spinning as it goes down. It's a slow motion experiment, also. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we actually see it on the Yeah. Oh, man. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at the oscillations. Yeah. 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 The cells are like legit propaganda. How do you form a dry light in water? It's a great question. <laughs> 
<laughs> Add a sponge right in the center. Yeah, actually. No, I'm, well, it offers either, but I can just plug that straight into the wall for you. The black cable I have is just a. <laughs> All right, what are we seeing? The slow speed up. Maybe neglect the fact that there was already some diffused yellow dye over the top of the clock, huh? What do you notice about the yellow dye, the highlight fluid? to the upper left of the puck. Sort of curtain around. Yeah. yeah. Do we feel convinced? For creating Why do we have to induce small perturbations as opposed to larger perturbations? What would happen if I cut the rotation rate in half? Lose the assumption of low raspy number, right? At least in the vicinity of the puck, now suddenly the, flu the fluid feels a very fast velocity object around its edges. Now, we should probably try that also. Yes. Break the system. Let's break it. We've got Chaos. some incredible cellular convection. Everyone notice the depiction of open cells down on the bottom surface. Gaps of no dye where there's flow spreading. Little helixes showing a concentration of dye in the descending plumes. All right. Let's break raspy number. James, it's like negative with the The cells are just like copper. Actually What's negatively tilted? But like, you can see at the top where your cells are, and yeah. at the bottom where the cells are, it looks like legitimately... Tilted due to the shear? Yeah. <laughs> well, which may not have been the color changes. Yeah, yeah. Much I haven't actually noticed yeah. that before. Yeah, because like, you can see kind of where it's like modeled on the top where those cells are. Wait, is the convection starting to die? There's a larger I've convection I've noticed that once around. you induce a strong friction, or if there's large vertical motion in the tank, large relative motion, it overwhelms it. Oh, 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 oh we created a cycle. Oh. Yeah! Oh, we actually <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at the filming of the We made it. Oh, my God. Anyone know what these are called? <laughs> We've seen them in satellite. Uh... In the vicinity of islands. <laughs> oh, the wake something? It's Von Karman wake vortices. It's also the reason your telephone wires ring in strong wind. Fun fact. Happening on a much smaller scale. <laughs> Grew unstable, yeah, 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 as I understand. Yeah. It's He looks like abstract art of a peacock. <laughs> I'd take a close look in person too. The bottom is insane. Yeah, like look how it's spreading out down there. Okay, you see what I mean? It looks like an abstract art piece of a peacock. We've created another like cyclone right there. Anyway, Why is that, it like that's spreading out? That's an upper level cyclone. Yo, where's the vorticity coming from? The fuck? It's coming from yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
like the, almost all and, 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 and curvature flow the around the body. Is going it's, it's the particle shear pulling it is now you're flow pushing the flow over the pocket. Right? Is that so a jet stream? Wait, do we create a jet stream? Yeah. We created a jet stream. We created a Oh my god. Okay, but how can this be described with natural form? Look at that. No. No way we created it. It was like legit a jet stream. Dude, it's literally vertical. What happens as you dramatically slow down the tank, so suddenly the fluid feels the puck edges dramatically, right? So the water is now feeling friction as it tries to coast around the puck. That friction is happening in the vertical along the lateral surface of the split fluid. So you're inducing friction that's trying to coil the fluid as it comes back together on the lee side of the puck. And by virtue of that really strong friction and drag of the puck itself in the vertical plane, you're creating this vortex source, this back. vorticity source. So is this basically like Lee cyclogenesis being induced by the puck? Or is it Lee like cyclogenesis is more, you can think of that as still a low raspy number phenomenon. Is this, <laughs> this has to do with flow splitting. Okay. So it's really more of a mesoscale phenomenon. Wait, did Slow down of the flow like around an island or around the hockey puck. Yeah. And then where the fluid comes yeah. back together, we, we, it has that induced shear from the friction it feels on its inside edge. So it seems like there's less turbulence like where that purple looks really laminar there too, which is interesting. Yeah, like like out there's in the some middle? sort of, yeah, like there's yeah. some sort of, I don't know. Oh, there's so much Yeah. See, now we have the SBC issue a high risk right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's a high risk. High risk. <laughs> and it's hail driven, guys. Oh, gosh. Hmm. Kyle's going to be angry. Look at the oh, waves yeah. right in the center. If there was no puck, we'd have no. Well, so we would have a vorticity source at the wall edge. Um, a vertical vorticity source due to friction as the flow is now feeling that wall yeah. as it's moving past it's it. Just stretching. Um, so that could yeah, induce but instabilities. Um, but my interpretation of the, the lee vortices is that it's the puck edge that's driving that spin. So what you're saying is it's the tilting <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's just stretching of that. But the fact that you see the vorticity at upper levels I think is also still speaking to the fact that it's, str it's strong in the so, yeah, yeah. 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 Should we see if we could induce wake vortices now in the reverse? Oh gosh. Oh, like speed it up. Other direction. Yeah. machine just changed its frequency. It's now buzzing at a higher pitch. <laughs> he sped it up. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's trying. You should have. Yeah, we have wing vortices forming on the opposite side now. Yeah, that's sort of trying. What? It was like really cool. It's got this really uh -huh. tight vortices. <laughs> <laughs> Living on the edge. <laughs> I'm on the edge of glory. Oh, that one right there, that was...
fill this up? Labor. <laughs> <laughs> We've got uh, five gallon jugs. It's three five gallon jugs full. Uh, seeing one here? Yeah. Seeing something start to spin here? <laughs> no. That, that's what my P math professor is like. Let's just take a hammer and go. <laughs> Twin vortices. Twin vortices. Pilger, Nebraska, anyone? <laughs> I really like this potassium for making ink. Is that the yellow? It's the pink. Oh, <laughs> Purple curtains. Do not ingest. Do, Do not ingest. I was not going to. Yeah. Did you have to make sure that everything you're putting in here won't like react with each other before? Uh, yeah, we verified that through trial. <laughs> <laughs> was there error? I'm a spirit chemist. Well, you first try. We've all been staying alive so far. I got a good one here. Take a look. It's like guys, I'm going to watch the Lord and soda and some Yeah, what, what happens if we just go? Okay, or, uh, dry ice. Okay, now dry ice. This is interesting. The vortex form, the vortex shedding is happening so much more slowly, or is it just me? Maybe speed it up some. Oh, you can see how those We're almost like all the way up. That parameter is a lot more <laughs> Find the Coriolis force of a, of a book big, Bush's big beans. So laminar there, so the middle is so tight. Wow. That looks so sick. Oh, the little Oh, yeah, risky. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting because the flow that's moving across the puck is already so brief. Tissue down the highway. I mean, going like this. So I really have no, I feel no ability to anticipate how that's going to interact with the puck. Very Next time we do this, we need to add dry ice. What, what if we were to go back to the initial? <laughs> let's let's see the temperature gradient. <laughs> what do we notice about the dye relative to the puck when we do this? Though? Like at first, I thought it was a chill. We're seeing it go up and over. Right? Yeah. Anything with you in it. I'm like, super on sure around it if it's good physically obstructed on that vertical like, level. Like, I'm on sure. We're starting to lose transparency here, huh? Yeah. Still pretty good from the top view, though. Oh, 2001? Approaching the top right? Yeah, right? Oh my god. We created a big red spot. Yeah, seriously. That is a really cool ice layer. Oh, wow. So it's still feeling the puck's presence. You knocked it. I think it's obvious. <laughs> if we hard stuff. <laughs> Oh god. We did that. Yeah, we did that last time. Yeah, no. My goal for the next time is like adding something that's like super super hot or something super super cold right in the center. No. Last time we did we added a horizontal shear. Alright. Another uh, another fun experiment that happened by accident at the weather fest. We believe we induced barotropic instability. Oh. Barotropic. Y'all now know what barotropic means, right? No temperature gradients. So things should still be vertically coupled. So it's a vorticity that could happen, or an instability that could happen with vertically coherent structure due to a reversal in the horizontal shear pattern. That's later dynamics. But the idea is uh, the game we played was dramatically slowed it down and what's happening to the fluid then is it's slowing down predominantly from the outer edge because that's where it's feeling the most friction there in the surface the bottom so you feel the slowdown in the fluid propagating inwards towards the center and then you speed it back up and now you have a reversal 
in the horizontal shear, satisfying conditions for barotropic instability. If you're in a low rise speed number regime. Let's see what we could do here. I'm going to just sort of go Jackson Pollock here. And <laughs> <laughs> just put that everywhere. Guys, we need to hit up our next like art museum, sell this for millions of dollars. Sick, but it just sinks to the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Very small crystals. Do not. Do not ingest. Oh god, the water is moving faster. The water is moving faster than the tub. <laughs> oh, the water is moving very fast. Oh, whoa. I don't see anything. Whoa. Oh my god. Yeah, we just put goat on that. Boy, that is a mess. Very vibrant, just like a weird. It's fine. However, impartial. Uh, yeah, okay. See what's happening around the edges. <laughs> Anyone see the Dr. Seuss waves? The Dr. Seuss waves? Kelvin Helmholtz instability. Breaking waves. Oh! Yeah. Right there. It's a beautiful one. Oh, wow. Right there. All along the edge. Take a look. Yeah, take a look. Oh, yeah, you can definitely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. Like that one oh, right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah. Major, yeah. Major, yeah. major K H infection right now. Oh, crazy. Don't mind me. <laughs> oh, my God. Joel. <laughs> Can we see anything from the side? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Sorry, I need to get on. <laughs> we do have a nice color gradient on the side, though. That water is officially opaque from the side. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, what the heck? Oh wow, that is crazy. <laughs> it looks purple from up here. Right, I'm going to try a more dramatic example of this. Oh. 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 I was really impressed that the puck didn't get yeah. carried with the current. Yeah. Oh no, everything's <laughs> missed. So yeah, we just induced an insane amount of turbulence by suddenly introducing a ton of friction on the bottom surface. It disrupts all of the convection, the cellular columnar convection, and mixes up our dye super well. That I'm going to try to dump it. If you in. look at it from the side, it's like a green <laughs> haze. <laughs> We're gonna create the highest. It's so This is California Peak Fire Season. Still shows up. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah.
Those are pretty strong. That yellow. Oh my god. Yeah. Wow. Like, look how well it shows up on my phone. I see a chat oh, yeah, up in there. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like dark. The polar vortex. It's getting that warm. We're getting deformation, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's doing something. This is very, like, Halloween. Yeah. I've heard this uh, yeah, well, the scene, Friends from the Other Side from Princess and the Frog. That. The tank forecasters are like so lost right now. Probably not going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Forecast shut yeah. down of the tank. Yeah. Yeah. Switch back on. We, we just have a picture of the blow on the ground. <laughs> Nice. More high yeah, it's more it's how to deal with and the NSSL says they've never seen anything like <laughs> that. <laughs> the NSSL would just issue an extreme problem. <laughs> <laughs> SPC looks down from their floor. What the hell? High risks. <laughs> Those are really, there's like a crazy cycle of really crazy. I don't know if that's going to show up. Yeah, almost every cycle is going to do much of the Every cycle is trying to spot its own anti cycle. Yeah, like kind of itself. That's true. It looks like an RFD cut the way it like punches through. It's like an anti cycle. Oh, oh. Here we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's nauseating watching the TV. Yeah. Yes. Look at the extreme Dude, turbulence at that. Oh yeah, you can wow. see it just kind of passing out. Whoa. It's just all the fools now. Where's the puck now? Oh, it's over there. <laughs> Almost can't see it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. really strong emotion. It's experiencing uh Evolution, it is now camouflage with the environment. Predators can no longer see it. <laughs> I just see a lot of mixing at the edge. It's always, uh, yeah, here we go. It's somewhere. It's there. Yeah, I can't tell what's puck induced and what's shear induced at this stage. I've totally lost the puck. It's, it's like right there. Well, I, I gather it's in the same spot still, but I, I totally can't see it. It's just like a dark shadow. It's in the tree. It's somewhere in there. Nah, it has ceased to exist. It must still be kind of turbulent on the edge because the dye is focused and then it's mi I think it's mixing out at the boundary layer yeah. here. If you look from the side, there's like a line that goes on. This is just that line. This is such a pretty gradient, though. The density decreases towards the center of the atmosphere. I'm wondering if it's fucking has the boundary layer mixing. Yeah, we've got still some shear in this place here. So, what did we create the, uh, on the bottom side? Okay, it's happening right there. <laughs> yeah, next semester we do this. We're going to have dry ice and, I don't know, a piece of charcoal fresh well, from a grill. Yeah, that's what they're coming Uh, can't see blue. I think at this point we're really relegated to the yellow. Pretty important. Uh, time to order another one of these. <laughs> it's so over. It's up beautifully on the TV. The phone is such a good job at capturing. Parker does. Who's got a uh, pencil they're willing to sacrifice for the cause? For the cause? I might have one of them. Highlighter, I guess. Highlighter. Oh my gosh. What? I, what happened? I smacked. I oh. bumped into the phone. <laughs> Again. <laughs> I'm just concerned about Again. falling into the water. <laughs> That's true. That would be a four. <laughs> right here. Huh. You know, I don't know why that didn't really do too much. Well, except destroying that one corpse right there. It was already very turbulent down there. Yeah, he yeah. created like a cutoff low, and that was about it. Except it's working its way to, out towards the edge now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. 
Okay, wait, yeah, now you can kind of see where he did the highlighter through. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> clear stream here. Yeah. Counter rotating vortices. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's good. Okay. Oh, yeah. I see that now. Right. Yeah. Riding the jet here. Yeah. All right, y'all. I want to get a picture. Um, you want the picture? Like the second picture. Yeah, I guess it's actually. I mean, it's actually better. Are you physically able to see the color? Oh, that makes a lot of sense. The best is like flat. Yeah, I mean, it's actually better. Yeah, 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 it's actually better. So my phone is out of time. Who's got a good camera phone? Honestly, they don't mind mine. Like, it's going to favor, like the rotation is going to favor some voice. Oh. Alright everyone, try to crowd in. We'll get seniors and juniors in here. Get a final class photo for the last day of class. Not cut off Sheldon. You're part of the class. Hey. Get in here too, Maddie. Oh, there we go. Justin time. Can you see us all? Okay. We just can't yeah. bump the table. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let me put more highlighters so it shows up. In the <laughs> a little more, a little more. Act like you like each other. All right, one. Everyone, on three, say Rosby. 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 Awesome. Awesome. Thank you all.